normally you would say that a utility company, they're not very visible, but Hofor, uh, the client on this project, they want to be a little bit visible. They want us to be aware of where our heating comes from and where our drinking water comes from, just, just a little bit. It's uh, the ambition of the Copenhagen municipality that Copenhagen is supposed to be a carbon neutral capital by 2025. And the new unit at Amarverk, which is called Bio4, is fueled with uh, wood chips, certified wood chips, to be carbon neutral. We wanted the plant to show in its exterior what goes on in the interior in some way. The power plant unit is really just an industrial building and we didn't have much to do with that. But we clad it in this facade of tree trunks uh, as a curtain, you could almost say, of, of tree trunks. In that uh, forest that it almost becomes, there is a staircase leading up from the ground and to a viewing platform uh, at the top. Right from the onset, actually, my job was to uh, contact uh, the lighting designers that we wanted on the team. Part of the development of the idea was to, to create a really enigmatic feel of a, uh, of a wood. But it wasn't just a surface of the wood, it was the layered nature of, uh, of, of lighting the wood. So, you know, there's lots of shadow, lots of silhouette, lots of contrast. And what's really fun about it is it, uh, it needs to look good as a spectacle when you stand back. But it also needs to feel um, quite enigmatic when you're inside because you can walk through the facade. Lighting ideas that have a narrative behind them, you have to believe in the story. It's not just a simple idea that you feel will work. Find the way to deliver that magic. By lighting onto the facade and through the facade, you would create a much richer sense of layers. Uh, and you would do it in quite an efficient way. Rather than having thousands of individual light sources all over the facade, by doing something which felt so natural, you had to almost create the sense of one source of light, which again is a very natural thing. There isn't. 10 moons and 5 suns, there's one source of light. Spears Major suggested that we should use this particular luminaire, which has a lot of functions, really a lot of, of different possibilities built into it. It's not about showing off and telling the world all the things we can do. It's just about being uh, straightforward. You want the attention on the effect and the feeling, and not really on, wow, this looks uh, absolutely um, technical. That process of discovering the right effect, you need to make sure that you've got the right kit with you to do that. And what we found with the selection of the kit that we used is that it allowed us the enough variables to play with an idea. And it wasn't just about making one section look good, it's a huge facade, the whole thing has to look good together. We didn't know the number that we needed or wanted, but we were actually very happy when we could boil it down to just 49 luminaires put outside of, of the facade. You don't need to go rappelling, you can access them from a cherry picker. It's really uh, quite straightforward. That discovery of what was the right effect, what was the right gobo pattern, what was the right speed of movement, is part of an evolution. And it's not, when you finish a project, it's not just a case of saying, yeah, it does exactly what we expected it to do, and here you go. The fine tuning of a, of a project like this is, means that even at the very, very last moment, you're still making some big decisions about speed, focus, intensity, balance. So when you do a facade lighting project in a city like Copenhagen, you have to recognize your responsibility not to overwhelm, suddenly do something crazy. After all, this is not a cinema screen. It's an art piece, if you like, on a authentic project, which is doing something for the city. The facade lighting is, of course, something that you see from a distance, from the outside. But this facade is different because you can walk inside it. When you walk up the staircase inside the facade that, that goes between the trunks, you can look through big windows into the power plant where you know the wood is being burnt. And uh, the installation is outside of the facade. So w when you walk in there, you're not close to the luminaires or anything. And the experience is absolutely extraordinary. You're walking between these tree trunks and the light moves and shifts and you're just absorbed in it. It's absolutely amazing. 
The masts are designed based on many, many parameters and many, many wishes. So we had to design the masts to be very solid. We had to design them so they fit well with the tree trunks and, and the whole look of the power plant, of course. These masts are really complicated installations and they are industrial design at the same time. We've worked closely, of course, with Martin Professional, the manufacturer of the luminaires, and we've worked with Light Nordic, uh, the distributor here in Scandinavia of the luminaires, and we've had Stowenborg as our local fulfillment partner, and it's been quite clear that these three companies uh, know each other really well and coordinate very well between themselves. So it's been a pleasure for us, for the architects and for Spears Major, to see it just uh, function perfectly. For us, our relationships with equipment and with manufacturers is kind of fundamental to the success. These are the, the tools that we're using. And part of that is, is having trust and faith in the network that that manufacturer has. So it's not just whether you like the piece of kit, it's whether you actually believe that through all the trials and tribulations of, of delivering a piece of kit to a project, and then playing with the light that everybody does their part, whether that be a support network in the UK through the manufacturer or here in Denmark on a local scale in, in kind of Copenhagen. This is a project which lives exactly in between architectural lighting and effect lighting, theatre lighting, if you like. But it's, it's permanent. Knowing that a job is going to be a success is that when you know you've got the right people around who are motivated and will do what it takes to, to deliver. Special relationship tends to lead to special results. From now on, it's the same light every night. The point is that this is just part of the facade, a natural part of the facade, and this is a natural part of the power plant, and what it does to Copenhagen and the way it's received by Copenhageners is just a very static thing. You can go and enjoy it now, or five years from now, 10 years from now. This is just the way Biofall looks. Yeah.